Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to bring you guys my next balcony gardening video here on my London balcony. So for those of you guys that don't know who I am, hello, hi, how's it going? My name's Anika and I'm an American living in London and I absolutely love balcony gardening, especially here on my London balcony. Now, if you've just stumbled across this video or my channel, I have done tons of videos all about balcony gardening and how I've had such a successful harvest just by growing vegetables on my balcony. So if you guys wanna check out those videos or you wanna see an entire playlist all about balcony gardening, I will link it up in the cards for you right now. Now I wanna come on here and give you guys my top five tomato growing secrets. Now these are all secrets that I think are super essential and key to growing perfect, juicy, delicious tomatoes in containers on your balcony and stick around until the end of the video because I will be giving you guys a little extra tip at the end. Now my first tomato secret I want to share with you guys today is that tomatoes need a lot of sunlight and when you are growing tomatoes here in the UK it can be a little bit tricky because obviously in the UK we do not get as much light as tomatoes would like. It is super key to have a lot of light for your tomatoes especially when they are seedlings or when you are growing tomato plants from seed. Now I've done a video all about growing seeds indoors as well as transplanting plants from indoors to outdoors. When you are growing here in the UK, you are gonna have to start planting your tomato plants earlier indoors. And if you guys wanna check out any videos about transplanting or growing seedlings indoors, I will link the video I've recently done up in the cards for you right now. But my big secret is that your tomatoes need a lot of light and in order to create enough light for your tomatoes especially when they are little seedlings is i use artificial light indoors with my tomatoes so a lot of times when i have my little seedlings inside i actually set up a light on top of them so that they get anywhere from 8 to 12 hours of light a day so if you are growing tomatoes in the UK and you definitely want to see them succeed, the best thing to do is obviously to grow your tomatoes as close to natural light or a window as possible. But in the UK, we definitely do have cloudy, gloomy days and not enough sun for tomatoes. So I would recommend having an artificial light. When you do set up artificial light for your tomatoes to start growing, you will suddenly see that they are going to start sprouting up and growing like crazy because tomatoes love their light. So whether it's artificial light or you're able to actually grow your seedlings near a window where you're able to get enough light, that's great. But here in the UK, I honestly encourage setting up some sort of lighting so that your tomatoes get enough sunlight because they love it. My second secret when it comes to tomato growing and growing the best tomatoes that you can is really making sure your compost and soil stays nice and warm. As you can see, some of the tomatoes that are down on the floor here, they are already in the sun. The compost is really nice and warm. But my little secret for you guys is when you are moving your little seedlings into bigger pots, actually keep that compost dirt out in the sun first and then after a few hours of that compost or dirt being out in the sun you're going to want to move your little tomatoes or your tomato seedlings into that warm compost they really love the warmth tomatoes are not the biggest fan of direct sunlight all the time but they love it when it's warm so whenever you get compost ready for tomatoes to be transplanted i would recommend keeping that compost or dirt outside making sure it's nice and warm because then when you transplant your little tomatoes into that warm soil they're going to be so happy and the roots are just going to be so excited to be in that warm soil so my second little secret is just keep that soil really warm my third little secret for you guys is to make sure you pick your tomato growing spot very carefully now like i mentioned before tomatoes really 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 love warmth and love sunlight so what you're going to want to do is make sure you set your tomatoes up for success from the beginning so whenever you're planting seedlings or seeds you're going to want to make sure they have a lot of light and warmth so my flat stays really warm in the winter but also i definitely keep my plants near the sunlight or near the window and i also have an artificial light set up but I would recommend starting your tomato plants in smaller pots first, because the smaller the pot, the warmer that soil is gonna be and the easier it is for that tomato to blossom and grow. And then when it is larger, you can move it outside into direct sunlight. And then when it's outside in direct sunlight, just make sure that your tomatoes stay nice and warm and in enough sun to keep them happy. So really setting yourself up for success starts from when you are growing them in the smaller pots and then growing them also out into bigger pots. But my secret is to really find the right space in your balcony or your garden for tomatoes. 
it is key to give your tomato as much sunlight and as much warmth as possible so i actually plant all my tomatoes on the sunniest warmest part of my balcony and that's where they see the most success so when you are trying to figure out where the best place is for your tomatoes on your balcony or in your garden observe look around look where the sun hits for the most amount of time and where it is the warmest spot on your balcony or in your garden look around on your balcony or in your garden and just find that warm spot i mean to be honest i know that this side of my balcony where it is behind me gets the most sun all morning and all day so i know that's where my tomatoes are going to be the happiest i knew this before I even started growing on my balcony because that was where I would love to sit in the sun and it was nice and warm. So just try to make sure you arrange your space and know exactly where the most warmth and the most sun comes from because that's where your tomatoes are gonna thrive. So my fourth tomato growing secret for you guys is to make sure you stake your tomatoes early meaning that you set up your tomato canes as early as possible so the next video i will be doing in my tomato growing series here on my youtube channel is all about the correct way i'm going to stake my tomatoes in order to make sure that they grow vertically especially on my balcony where i do have limited space if you guys want to see a video all about me staking my tomatoes and how to set them up for success but also all my other balcony gardening videos coming up this year make sure you smash that subscribe button and be a part of my youtube family because i will be doing tons more videos about tomato growing this year but like I said it is so important to make sure you stake your tomatoes early in their growing phase because if you do stake your tomatoes later on when they are larger you're gonna probably damage the roots in order to get the stake in correctly so staking early means that you're probably not gonna damage roots but you're also going to encourage your tomatoes to grow nice and tall and straight up and when you are balcony gardening or container gardening it is so important to make sure you are very intentional with your space and you want to make sure to encourage your tomato plants to grow upward. Now your tomatoes are going to need lots of support if you plan on harvesting tons of tomatoes this year. Tomatoes are a very heavy fruit and making sure you have the right cane set up for that is so important. Now you can use any kind of canes that you would like. I personally use bamboo. You can also use just regular sticks. You can use rubber ones. I've seen metal ones as well. It really doesn't matter. You just need to make sure you have your steak set up early. If you are getting value from this video and enjoying all my gardening videos here on my YouTube channel, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to create more content like this for you guys. My fifth tomato growing secret for all my beginner gardeners out there is to grow a ton of different varieties of tomatoes. This year I am growing cherry tomatoes, I'm growing Roma tomatoes, and I'm also growing a beefsteak tomato. Through the years of growing tomatoes, I've realized that growing a variety of tomatoes is super satisfying because you're gonna have different taste you're going to have different types you're going to have different colors of tomatoes but it's also really great to experiment when you are growing and tomatoes are such a fun easy plant to start growing but it's so much more fun when you do have variety and if you are a beginner gardener or you're unsure and you're not sure if you can actually grow tomatoes on your balcony growing a few different varieties kind of sets you up for success because if one type of tomato doesn't do well on your balcony there might be another one out there and you might do really well on your balcony or in your garden i would just say Everything with gardening is such a fun and big experiment. Now that brings me to the end of my top five tomato growing secrets. Now, do you guys have an additional tomato growing secret that you wanna share with me or all our YouTube family? Please leave me a comment down below letting me know how you grow your best tomatoes. And for those of you guys that made it to this point of the video, I'm going to give you guys my extra little tomato growing secret tip. So my tomato growing secret number six is that water is life for tomatoes. You will need to water your tomato plants on a daily basis. They just drink it up. They love it. But another little thing that you guys should know, a little secret, shh, just sharing this with you guys, that you should be watering your tomatoes twice a day in the peak of summer. In the peak of summer, when it is super hot and there's lots of sun, your tomatoes will be drinking up that water. And I actually water my tomato plants in the morning as well as in the evening. So whenever it reaches above 25, maybe even up to 28 degrees Celsius, I will water in the morning and in the evening. Now don't wait to water your tomato plants when your tomato leaves start to wilt. You are gonna want to start to water them regularly because obviously that's gonna encourage them to grow and get stronger, but when you actually start seeing blossoms and you actually start seeing ripe tomato fruit, the more water, the larger the tomatoes are gonna get. Now, just be very, very mindful that you don't overwater, but tomatoes love water, especially in the heat. 
So my sixth little tip for you guys is to make sure you keep on watering them. Anyways, guys, that brings me to the end of my top five tomato growing secrets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in gardening content or my life in London as an American, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you know exactly when my next YouTube video is going live. Right guys, best of luck with growing on your balcony garden or in container gardening or in your backyard, whatever it is, best of luck with growing the best tomatoes this year. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.